I've taken like 30 bolts out of this thing and it's still stuck. Maybe that did it. Whoa. <laughs> if one thing has become clear to me, it is that they never wanted this seat to get out of here. Cause holy crap. I think it deserved me a little break now. In my throne of justice. Holy crap. It's one thing after another folks. One thing after another. But now that this is out of here, we can cut in and get access into that electrical panel. See if we still got some recline. Oh yeah. I need to cut this box so that I could get access into this panel here. I'm gonna be rebuilding some of this when I do the dash build out, so it's not that big a deal. 25 year old electrical tape, so that's fun. It's just crumbling on me. You can see we got the bus tarped right now, kind of in monsoon season. I don't really need to pull this whole wire harness apart, but I wanted to make sure I don't have turn signals in here and stuff. Doesn't look like I do. Um, the reason for that is the wiring for the front headlights, turn signals, and running lights I'm keeping. It's all very nicely jacketed and it doesn't have all of the crap that I don't need in it. So it's bundled with some of the stuff that goes to the dash. So I'm going to keep all of that together, I'm basically replacing all the wires that go to the back of the bus as well as the loops for clearance lights, turn signals that go down the side of the bus. This bus only has a front side turn signal marker. And I am going to be adding a rear side turn signal marker along with running uh, the running light circuit through those lights as well. Because right now the only markers on the side of the bus that are illuminated at night are the clearance lights. And I want something on the side that's constantly lit and then has the flash. So that will be all run in separate independent from my cable that goes to the back. So right now I'm just gonna keep pulling wires. I'm gonna pull all of my uh, wires that go through the hat channels to feed side markers and clearance lights. Yellow, green, red, blue, 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 blue red, purple, purple, green, blue, purple, purple, red. All right, turn signal, turn signal, reverse, brake and running. So yellow, green, blue, red, and brown. All right, so we've got yellow, green, blue, red, brown, and then two pinks, an orange, and a red. What are you? Pink, red with a black stripe, and orange. So I'm left with one more pink. Clearance lights. There's one pink wire back there. 
until you get to the last little bit. And so I'm gonna tear that harness apart. It's the only thing I can think of doing right now. Just tear that harness apart and see see what it does. Well, that's dumb. Get back there chasing gremlins for 15 minutes, right? That pink wire that comes from here goes back to the back and right at the very back before it dives in, it splits. They have it just tied onto each other. So I don't know what it does and if it is important or not. I don't know if it's a part of the interlock device. I'm gonna make sure the bus functions with the uh, with it plugged in the way that it is. And if it does, then I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna see if it still functions the way that it's supposed to. Okay, this feels like the dumbest way to test something, but I'm just gonna cut these. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see if the bus will still start. All right, well, it still seems to function the way that it should. I cut everything. That's good to know. So now I'm just gonna slice this whole thing off and get rid of her. Slice them all right in here. This will make all of the lights not work. That's okay. Boom. Severed. Now we're gonna do the same at the back. I'm leave them a little long. So now I just have my brake, my running, reverse, and right turn, jumping from this side to that side. And then this yellow here is the uh, left turn signal. Now I'm not getting rid of this for the weight, but the weight is not negligible. That's a decent amount of weight. Uh, but mostly, it's just a bunch of unnecessary crap. And I don't want a bunch of unnecessary crap in my bus. Get rid of it all. All right, I think I'm now at a point where I can start making some cuts in here. Looks like I can go down to here, and then I can come straight over. That sucked. Son of a <sighs> Yeah, that's fun. Should probably go get that washed out. Dang it. I've been waiting for this which is why I'm not going and getting my hand cleaned right away like I should be but what you gonna do turn signals running lights headlights okay that's starting to sting let me go ahead and take care of that I think I might be done for the day Hand is healing nicely. Didn't go through all the layers of skin, just a lot of them. One, two, three. I'm just trying to pull these out of the side of the panel here. It's a little difficult because they don't want to go. I'm back. I know, you didn't even know I was gone. Had to grab my needle nose pliers. If I could pull all of these things out of the grommets, then 
it makes my life a whole lot easier from the inside because I can easily see what's pulled, what's not. The worst thing would be yanking hard on a wire to then find out that it was one of your essential wires that's still connected somewhere. Heater wires, goners, we got all of this crap. Bye. Good. Bye. Bye. See you later. So I got rid of all the wires that I don't need in the front. The wires that go to, used to go to the defroster and the two heaters, as well as the wires that feed the uh, bullhorn underneath the uh, PA, external PA speaker outside. So got all of those wires pulled. I still have the wires for my turn signals, my wipers, headlights, uh, and running lights. Get my rain protection all tied back down. Did rain uh, a decent amount. Well, we've trimmed a lot of fat out of the Bluebell bus in the last couple of days and it feels great. We have diagnosed a couple of electrical issues that we need to address in the future, but for now, I think we're gonna let the electrical system sit where it's at. Uh, we've trimmed a lot of weight, but most importantly, we know where everything is in that panel. So if there's electrical issues in the future, we know where to go and what everything does to diagnose that problem. So that feels awesome. And uh, we have much more to do on this bus prepping for that roof raise. Thanks so much for watching this video. Tag along and follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Rolling with the Morgans, where we're trying to keep you up to date there as well. Thanks so much. Take care.